Michigan State University has the highest number of confirmed cases of CTE involved involving football players. That's according to a new report by Concussion Legacy Foundation. Meanwhile, the NFL setting up new rules for dealing with concussions. Dr. John Michaels joins us, pain doctor, Super Bowl champion, played for the uh, Green Bay Packers in the Super Bowl, won it too. Dr. Michaels, great to have you on WILS. Thanks for having me on. Yeah, I saw Donald Trump talking about these new rules by the NFL, saying these uh, softer NFL rules and saying that uh, really we're being a little too, a little oversensitive at this point with concussions. What, what do you think about that? I think the new rule is a good idea. Basically, it's stating they're going to put a trainer up in the booth so that they can evaluate it like one result earlier this season mm. where he really got his bell rung and they allowed him to go back to the game so that he can play mediary uh be a mediary for the for the patients, for the players themselves, and be able to talk to the doctors and trainers on the sidelines, mm-hmm. and pull a player out.